Um, have do not disturb. I didn't do it. I gotta do it now. Or, or you'll be getting that throughout the thing. Do you know how to do that? Will you pull that menu thing down? Hello, somebody. I gave you a thumbs up. Oh, thank you. Hi, Rebecca Higgins. How are you, baby? Aunt Mary Jo! How are you, honey? Are you still in the hospital? She says she's good, huh? Oh, good, good. I'm so glad. Everybody's been praying for you. Hi, Ginger Girl. How are you, hon? Yes, happy Friday. I'm going to my friend's 60th birthday party tomorrow. It's a pool party. It's very hot here. For this time of year, it's quite warm. Maybe I'll get some more tan to uh, make me peel some more. <laughs> I'm still slightly peeling. I'm appealing. Hi, Carrie Ann. How are you, sweetie? Yes, so are we. This is the weirdest weather. Hi, Sue and Thomas. Yes, he does need a fanny. Actually, I realized I... No, if you bought from me before, you never ha you don't ever have to re... Unless something's changed where you've changed your address or something like that. Um, I re it was getting really warm in here in the kitchen where I was working and... I'm thinking, why in the world is so... Then I remembered I had put the thermostat up because it had gotten chilly last night. Hi, Gina Marie. So, um, just a little while ago, I put it back down, and it's already 20 degrees cooler in here. It was getting close to 80, and I th it was feeling a little warmy. So has everybody been having a good week? Has it been uh, hot where you are? Oh, really? Where do you live at, Gina? I forgot. I, I mean, I should remember, but. Hi, Josie. How are you, sweetie? Yeah, it's... Uh... It has been strange here. You know, we were, a month ago it was cold. Oh, that's right, Rhode Island. How could I forget? Really, it's only 55 in Rhode Island? Hmm. Well, it's probably coming your way. Hi, Maria. Yeah, I bet the heat will be coming your way. Yeah, because I know it's this time of year, although I remember when I lived in Rhode Island, it could be 75 and it would seem like 100 because it was so humid all the time. I remember we had to go buy a fan because I was burning up. That was we didn't have an air conditioner. Oh, and you live in Maine. Yeah, I know the, the way the heat's going is very weird. I did not read your email. I didn't. I read emails earlier today, but I didn't see your email. If it's been fairly recent. <clears throat> well, everybody's coming in pretty quick today. Let me see if I can see what she said.
Maria, I can read your email after the uh, sale if you want me to. I need to get my hair trimmed again because it's starting to like flip out. But I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go with shorter. Oh, okay, okay. That's funny because I have it sitting right over here, right by me, in case I get cold. <laughs> Sure, I'm not going to get cold. Okay, there's 17 people here and only six thumbs up. Do the math. I don't know what that little dot there means. I don't know. So, also, now there's 16 people and eight fingers, thumbs up. Hi, Calypso Antiques. How are you, babe? Thumbs up. So I made an appointment to see my doctor. I don't get to go till the 18th about having my um, hip replacement. Thank you. Thank you so much, Calypso. And so uh, at some point this summer, I will be laid up. But I stockpiled stuff. Hi, Rose. So that I could continue to do sales. I mean, there's maybe like one week where I can't, but uh, if I can't, you know, I don't know if I, how long I can sit or whatever, but uh, hello, D. How are you, my friend? Hey, D, did you get my, uh, my text that I stopped at a uh, sale, even though I said I wasn't going to? Hello, the second part of living. How are you? Hi, Mary Dugan. Ah. Is it is it hot in uh, Niagara Falls or is it not? Somebody said in Rhode Island it was only 55. Not really. It's, it's in the, it's like around 91 here. And it's going to be 92 tomorrow and 93 on Sunday. Seventy-two. Yeah, we've been having some weird, weird weather, I'll tell you. It's funny that the rest of my hair has grown so fast and my bangs are still, like, short. I don't get it. So, I have an uh, unusual, oddball assortment of stuff tonight. I hope that something interests you. Um... Yeah, isn't that weird? I mean, that's how it's been here. It's like up and down. But lately, it's just been hot all the time. It's pretty hot. You love my hair like this? Well, I need to get it trimmed up here. It, it's just too bushy down here. I need to get it trimmed up a little bit. <clears throat> anyway. So I have, a, a, I mean, I've been shopping a lot. I'm trying to like pace how I um sell you know how I put stuff in a sale I try to think of all kinds of things that people like I try it, it sometimes it's like it's a challenge on what I can well that's true that is true Maria but your hair is getting real cute you're getting really your hair is getting really cute it, it's going to be cute pretty soon in fact, you can have it like a little pixie cut. Once it gets just a little bit longer, it'll be adorable. So, at least your hair is growing and it's, you know, it is growing. I do have hair. 
I can't walk very I like I went to this estate sale today and I'm using my cane and I'm walking and I laid something down something very special for you guys coming up in some sale and somebody while I went in another room I came out and somebody had taken my stuff and I'm asking around ask when I finally do you so um the as I was standing outside I saw somebody holding some Halloween stuff it was Halloween things and I said there's my stuff right there so the lady that was helping me said ma'am that was her things she had put aside and she said oh, okay so I got them but um, I didn't buy a lot it was so full of stuff it was like a hoarder house and Ron said that he worked with the guy and I said something about there was a lot of tools in the garage. And he said, oh, yeah, it's probably, he used to steal this stuff from work all the time and bring it home. And I said, oh, I, but I mean, it was, everything, their house. I didn't even go in the basement. I was so overwhelmed by the other stuff. I went upstairs. It was like a tri-level. I went upstairs. I mean, you could not walk through this place. So, uh I just got a few items, and she said that after the 4th, I'm assuming she went of July, I don't know, they'd be having another one. So, hi, Vinny, how are you? It's good to see you, Vinny. Had I known you were going to be here, I could have brought out some risque things for you. Or you could have just baked him a cake. Or I could have baked my cake. I could have. So, let's see. Well, I would say it's time to get going. We are well. We are well. I I need to watch your... Uh, I'm going to watch... I'm try to watch your uh, sale tomorrow. I'm going to go to a pool party, but I'm going to try. But I do a lot of times watch afterwards. But I need to uh, look at your haul because... It sounded like a really good one. I haven't got there yet. Well, guys, I guess we'll get started. And uh, I never wear to know where to start. It, it's very... You start at the beginning. It's very difficult to think of what to start with. So. Hey, Pat. Hi, Pat. Oh, hi, honey. Yeah, I wanted to see. It sounded like he got a lot of good stuff. He always gets a lot of good stuff. I've bought many times from him. I've got a whole bunch of stuff from him. I'll tell you what. I'm going to start with this little... Uh, no, only one. No, that one's the one that hasn't been repainted yet. I only have the one over... The light blue one is painted. This one needs to be painted. It looks much better in, in, in the video, you know, in the thing than it really does in person. It's desperately needing to be painted. <clears throat> yeah. And my allergies are bonkers too, so if I sound kind of nasally and stuff, I'm sorry and clearing my throat. So anyway, the very first thing I'm going to show you is this little carnival glass, like it's like a little nut dish. A little M&M dish or cashew dish. For all you nuts. For all you nuts. And it doesn't have any cracks or chips. No hits, no runs, no wears. <laughs> it's in perfect shape. And it's like a... It's hard to explain the color, but it's kind of a... rainbowy color. And it is going to be $9, number 12. Nine dollars, number twelve for the carnival glass, little cashew slash M and M dish. Yeah, it is kind. Of, it is kind of a smoky gray, and then it's got the iridescent. It does look smoky gray. You can, if you'd like, turn it in certain directions.
No, oh, that that's smoky gray. That was uh, that was just a reflection off of uh, Jackie's face. <laughs> oh. oh, this is a nice little size for you know if you're uh, out on your porch or something, you can have your little your little cashews in here. Okay. Well, now what? <clears throat> I have an Avon bottle here, folks. I got to take her sticker off here. And it is this really pretty gay 90s gal. She's wearing her Gibson girl hairdo and her floral hat. And she did have topaz cologne in here, but there's just only a dribble left. And she's got, her dress is like a peach color. She looks like that's a ruffle there. I thought it was an umbrella, but it's a ruffle. And she is $6 number 24. $6 number 24 for the Gay 90s Avon bottle. Okay, Thomas Lynch, we got you there. Thank you. Hi, Deb Clark. How are you, honey? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Lynch. I'm drinking about the 80th glass of iced tea today. You know what? It isn't always stinky. This one actually smells like it did when it was new. I always smell them, too. Because if it smells like it originally did, I'm going to try to use it. Oh, uh, yes, I'm good. I'm pretty good. Hello, Deb. Okay, the next item I'm going to show you is this. Um, I already sold the huge one that was big. This little copper. I do have a candle going in it. Um, candle holder. This is so perfect for outside for your... um you know, on your porch or deck. This thing comes out to put your candle in it. Yeah, the men's stuff isn't bad. But there are some of the women's that aren't bad. They, they've stayed true. If it hasn't been opened and closed a lot, it's usually okay. Anyway, this little copper candle is $6, and I forgot to put the number down. So hang on a minute. But it's six dollars. I'm looking. I thought I put I thought I hit everyone. I missed obviously I missed one. Copper candle holder, twenty two. Number twenty two. Twenty two. It's a very ornate. Uh the puncture's all the way around. It's very even, very clean. It's not bent anywhere. Hold it, on. Maria said it was six dollars and it's hers. So I'll put down Maria. Thank you, Maria. I'm gonna blow the candle out. Yeah, I think those are so pretty. I I wish I'd have found like a hundred of them because it would have been nice. I'm gonna put that number down or I'll forget. Okay. Alrighty. There we go. Well, that's good. Oh, let me see here. And yes, for uh, Maria and uh, Book Bewitched, it is copper. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think it is copper, real copper. I don't think it's copper colored. It doesn't. I don't know. I mean, I can't tell for sure, but I don't think it is. I think it's real copper. Okay. I'll go with this one next. Hello? <laughs> Hello, College Debt Circus. What, 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 what do you mean, you two run? Well, that's because I'm the star of the show. Uh, hey, um, 
College Dead Circus. Uh, thanks for all the love there. Okay. The next thing I have are these two, like, little, uh, I'd say dessert dishes, pudding dishes, whatever, with the, uh, it, they look like mid-century modern star kind of thingies on them. They don't have a maker, but they're in perfect shape. There's no cracks or chips or, uh, there might be like one little tiny flea bite here, but that's about it. And there's not even any crazy that I can see. No crazy. They are six dollars. <laughs> You're the cashew king. Thank you, Deb. Do you? Oh, I couldn't find it. I I tried. I couldn't find it. But anyway, they're six dollars, and it's number thirteen for the two little dishes. I love this. Would you call them MCM star bowls? Yeah. I love this uh, pattern. I just think it's so... Reminds me of when I was a kid. Just like yesterday or the... Hi, Trisha. How are you, sweetheart? Okay. For my next... No. Thing... I have this very pretty little uh, holy water font. It says, God bless our home. And uh, it's in perfect shape. It has the hole here to hang it up. Oh, we probably are. <laughs> uh, it's made rather... Strangely, but this looks like something that they probably sold at like a um, a church. A lot of Catholic churches have little shops in them. You know, or at least the one one of them that I went to had a shop where you could buy little trinkets and stuff because it was also like a shrine where people would come. Anyway, it looks like something bought in one of those little shops. And it is five dollars. There's and by the way, nothing wrong with it at all. That that's the way it was made. Um, it's got plenty of room for holy water in it. And also, she's got a replica of my halo. Yeah, right. Um, it was so neat. Yes, or a Christian bookstore, right? But it, uh, you know. They had them hanging at their doorway, and when you walked in the room, you'd, you know. So it's five dollars. So month? it's five dollars, number eleven. Five dollars, number eleven. Number eleven for the holy water font. Today at the uh, estate sale, they had a bottle of holy water that was, I'm assuming you could buy it, and I was going to buy it and I forgot. Because had I bought it, I could have put it in here. Okay. Alrighty. Not a true row. What? Sadly, I never can remember who made comments, who made the comment, but somebody made the comment that they were interested in this little book I, that I got here. One of Rocky's great finds. It is the 50th year of Kalamazoo, Michigan, 1901 to 1951. They were celebrating their golden jubilee. Around the World Cookbook, 204 Favorite Recipes from 24 Foreign Countries. And this was put out by the Kalamazoo Stove and Furnace Company. And there are some mighty interesting uh, uh, recipes in here. 
But they do have a lot of nice ones for, like, Poland, uh, like pierogi and baked cucumbers. Uh, I never heard of that. Um, gulab, gulubki, which is stuffed, um, gulubki is stuffed, uh, cabbage. Um, gulubki. Oh, uh, let's see here. Palestine, Ireland. Farls, soda scones, Irish stew, bacon and cabbage. <clears throat> Just many, many kinds. I mean, they have France, England, Belgium, Austria, all kinds of places. It was printed in Reading, Pennsylvania. Anyway, there's no pictures or I wouldn't have been just reading it. This book is $8, number 28. $8, number 28 for the jam-packed with cool recipes in it. Russia, they tell you how to make caviar. Mm. Romania, that's where my family's from. How do you make caviar that fish do they make? Thomas Lynch. Uh, caviar, it says. Did you get Thomas Lynch? Yep. I got you, Tom. Okay. Uh, well, obviously, you got to do something. Where is that at now? Oh, it's not even called caviar. It's called Ikra? Ikra? Caviar is a salted rose of sturgeon. Row of sturgeon. It has been known as a delicacy... It doesn't say how. It just so, so, da, da, tells how to serve it. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, uh, sturgeon, uh, sturgeon roll is just fish eggs. Right. Beef stroganoff's in here. They have, there's some really, really good recipes. I'm, I'm serious in this book. You're going to, you are going to enjoy that one, Thomas. I, I believe you will. And then on the lines of cooking... Oh, you bet, Tom. Yeah, Jana Marie says she wants you to make a stuffed cabbage. I, I love to make stuffed cabbage. I love it. Um, I have this cupcake kit. Um, it makes 24. There's 24 paper cases, 12 flags, 12 wrappers. And uh, it makes these cupcakes. So you might have a birthday coming up. Sweet Home Alabama. Yeah, I love stuffed cabbage. Yeah, I know that. I know it is. I I actually saw them doing. I I actually saw them blessing the water one time. Back when I was Catholic. Anyway, so this is four dollars number twenty three for the cupcake kit. The cupcake. It looks so pretty. The pink and brown. I just love pink and brown together. And it was made in uh, Germany. I guess they don't make fancy cupcakes here. Not only that, the box of food that, that everything is in is in perfect condition. Well, that's because it's brand new. And that is what? $4, number 23. $4, number 23 for the uh, Build em Cupcakes. Okay. Well, and now, um, I have this really pretty green dish. It's, I believe, a, there's a little flea bite, a little 23, Maria for 23. Thank you, Maria. Um, it is, I believe, a bunch of grapes. Mm. There's, on, if you look on the back, it looks more, you can tell it easier. Mm. Anyway, I thought it was really, uh, I thought it was real pretty as a candy dish or something. Or you could use it, you know, to put olives and stuff in. 
Anyway, it is number 21 and it's $4. $4, number 21. Wow. It is very cool color, too. Yeah, it's like a real pretty green. I don't know how to explain it. It's not that ugly, funky. Somebody it's... said they like this. That's why I put it in the sale today. But I don't remember who it was. Okay, uh, let's see here. But did you call that the green grape dish? Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Hi, Chicago lady. How are you, Jeannie? Hey, shy girl. Oh, I'm so glad. I was worried. I always worry that it ain't gonna, it's not gonna, ain't, it's not going to make it there. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I have this canister. It is milk glass. And it is got the coolest pictures on it. It's all like New England scenes. Got the lighthouse there. It looks like Point Judas. That's cool. And it has a lid that does fit tightly. It was originally a uh, tobacco or cigar canister. But I mean, you can't tell now. It's not. It doesn't smell like it. And it is twelve dollars. Number twenty. Twelve dollars. Number twenty. Point Judith. Carrie Ann. Yes, for sure. Thank you, Carrie Ann. I used to love to go to Point Judith. Oh my gosh, did I love it. And, uh, what was the park? Rogers Lakewood Park? We used to go there all the time. Big old park. You're going to love that, Carrie Ann. Yeah, it's very pretty. Very, and very especially, unique. Especially if you like milk glass. I, I just thought it was so cool because it was milk glass. But it's, it's so different than you're just a standard milk glass. Well, yeah, it's... That is true. All right, let's see here. I did not put a lot of salt and pepper shakers in, but I did put a couple. I do too, I love milk glass. I think we established that before. Okay, I have a set of salt and pepper shakers that are from Japan. They have their stoppers. And they are very cute little um, watering cans. They got a rose on them. So, one has three holes, one has two holes. You could, I could see you could actually use these the way they're made. They are $5, number five. Five dollars, number five, for the little salt and pepper shakers. Sure. Cheryl Hoskins. Thank you, sweetheart. You can actually put salt in these because they are made well enough, big enough that you could really use these. Which I think is kind of nice. Okay, Cheryl, got you. Well... The numbers keep kind of going up and down. I am going to do an offer up just because I can. Because of the wonderful things he does? Uh, we're up to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Oz. And it is a wonderful. Old. Wonderful thing. And old. It's it's old. It's I mean, it's not ancient old, but it's old. No, I would be the ancient old one. It is a... Pelican Cooler, made in New Rochelle, New York, made in the U.S. of A. by Polaron. 
and it looks like this. There is some rust on the front, um, but other than that, I mean, it's in pretty darn good shape. You know, there's a few places where it's a little bit, of, but uh, to me, those are things you should should expect if it's old. It has a cork uh, for a stopper, which I thought was rather cool. So that would be where you would pour out your your drinks. Now to fill it, you just take off, off the cap, and it's big enough that you could, and this is actually like clear glass. You know, you could put ice and stuff in it to keep it cold. And this offer up will start at $15. So, if you are so inclined to buy this, please put in at least $15. Yes, Ron? Number 30 for you. I think it's number 30. 30? I think. No, it's not. It's, up, it's further up. I thought I put the number on it. I am sorry. Every once in a while, you know, you miss. Oh, 14. All right, that's uh, $15 for the Pelican Cooler, which is ancient. So is there, if there's no one that's interested in this, I will move on. You're going to have to tell me, Ron, because I can't. Unless something happens, I can't see nothing. No, there's uh, there's nobody bid on it. Okay. All right, we're going to move on then. Oh, nope. No, oh, Sweet Home no, Alabama. No, that's five. What's five? Water and cans. That's already Cheryl Hoskins. Uh, Sweet Home Alabama, honey, you are lagging a little bit. Because that already sold. Um, the Pelican Cooler is number 14. Well, that's not what she's wanting. I know. I'm just trying to tell her. So you're going to have to go out and then come back in and refresh. All right. We're going to put this away. Okay. <clears throat> Double dipping fences. <laughs> All right. My next thing is, if I can get it lined up here, is a Scentsy warmer. And it is in beautiful shape. It is a real Scentsy warmer. I have already tested it. It does work. Um, I didn't put a number on this one either. You'll have to look for it for me. It has on the back dish Scentsy and... Number two. Tells, you know, what it's authentic Scentsy, Scentsy product. Um, it has a bulb in it. And this is... $25, number two. And if you've ever looked at Scentsy stuff, $25 is a bargain because they're insanely pricey. The little ones you plug in the wall are at least Yeah, it is a pretty one. I bought one at a resale shop at church and was not near as pretty as this. It wasn't pretty at all. Just I got it because it was a Scentsy. I think it's very pretty. 
but it already has wax in it that smells really good, like chocolate or something. But uh, I left it in. I was going to take it out, and then I thought, no, I'll leave it in. Yeah, I'll say this. These are not cheap. Because Thrift Use, or uh, Sam sells it, and I get stuff from it, and it's definitely not cheap. Okay, if nobody's interested, we'll move on. I think I'm going to put this here. Hey, I'm in on this too, uh, Vinny. All right. So I have these salt and pepper shakers that are very cute. Very cool. And old. These are ball jar salt and pepper shakers. Tops are kind of old and crusty, but they are there. And I mean, they're just like a miniature ball jar. They aren't like, they are a miniature ball jar. And they are $10, number six. $10, number six for the miniature ball jar salt and pepper shakers. I could see it better with this on it. Yeah, you can see ball better that way. Okay, I have a lot of, hi Laura, of um, vintage greeting cards. I believe there's 10 here. And I will show them to you individually. I think this one's adorable. It's a birthday card for a three-year-old. But these people, these are used for scrapbooking and um, junk journaling and whatnot. So it's often the graphics that you're looking for. And that one. I thought this one was really cute. Some of these, when you open them up, they, that one isn't one of them. This one might be one. This one's really cute. It's actually got uh, a sh piece of shoestring on it right here. I oh, that one was cute. That one's very pretty. And then this one here actually was never used. It's got the envelope. And it is parchment paper to boot. Valentine greeting from mom and dad. And a sweet little baby card. And then we have to love our elephants. Yes. And look, it's so cute. Look at this. This one's pretty funny too. To the one I married. And then in the inside. So, typically 1950s. Actually, it's 1947. He's, uh, 
sitting in his chair, favorite chair. Yeah, he's in his chair and she's smoking a pipe and carrying the food to him. Um, this one's pretty. It's got a little book that opens up like this. That's pretty. And so for these 10 cards, it is $10 and it's number nine. $10, number nine. Thrill of the Thrift. Miss D, it feels like you're underwater. Well, how close are you to Niagara Falls? You're getting too close. Okay. No takers on that one. So my next item is this grape creamer. It is by Fitz and Floyd. And it is eight dollars for and there's nothing wrong with it. There's no cracks. There's a little teeny, teeny, teeny flea bite right here. You can barely see it. No big chips or anything out of it. It's from 1984. Eight. It's $8, number three. $8, number three. Okay. And this is one of my brother's brother Rocky's finds. This brass pitcher here. It was made in England by it's a well-known company. Um I can't remember if I'm saying it right. Beer, Deer Sage, Beer Sage, I don't know, something like that. But it was made in England. Number nine, what the hay. Uh, put Vinny down for number nine, what the hay. That's right. You could send the one to uh, your parents. My hand is just sorry. So anyway, uh, this... And thank you, Vinny. Thank you so much. And I guess you'll have to send me your information because I don't think you've ever bought anything from me. This is another, there's another Point Judith right on there. And a sailing ship. It's very pretty. I'm a real sucker for them, I'll tell you. I bought a lot of them. I'm certainly not selling all of them. But this is a really cool vintage... I'd say from the 60s, 50s or 60s, that's when this kind of stuff was really popular. Anyway, it is $9, number five, 15. $9, number 15. Oh, uh, Ron, could you put in my email address? Absolutely. Ron's going to put it in. I can't. It won't allow me to, but Ron will. Somebody wanted me to put this in the sale, too. I don't. Whoever that person was must not be here tonight. There was actually two people that asked me to put it in the sale. So they must not be here yet. 
Okay, so we shall move on. We shall move on. Okay. Thank you, D. I put it in there also. Okay. See, I can't see when you put it in, but I can see when D puts it in. Now, if I made you, if I clicked on you as soup and such and made you a, uh, a wrench, then you could, I could see you too, probably. Okay, my next item is this very pretty, um, I'd say a dresser tray, because the way it is, a little dresser tray, or trinket tray. It was made in Switzerland, somewhere. Um, it's got some kind of stuffy on the back. Um, some of the gold has worn off the top part. There's a little bit of wear, but it's really, really, really pretty. So, this pretty little tray, there's no cracks or chips or anything, just some wear on the gold, no uh, crazing even, is $6 number four, $6 number four. that LOL soup you mean husband number four honey I don't know I'm not watching the chat that much so I don't know me either okay the one person that always buys uh, stuff for her like old paper and stuff she hasn't I haven't seen her at my sale for a couple of Week, so I don't know. All right, I also have some old postcards. I believe I have ten of them. Ten of them. Some of these are like from the early 1900s. Like this one's from 1918. It says, A Pathway of Roses. And it was written on the back. It's got a stamp and everything. Thank you, Vinny. Yes, thanks. Thank you, Han. And then there's this one for a birthday. It was written on, but it wasn't mailed. That one's pretty. Somebody was really right and small on this one from 1948. It says, we'll write later. And it's a picture like this. I love these cartoon ones. I, I bought quite a few of these. I just think these are hilarious. And then there's this one, which was never sent. It says, yes, you've got the right number, but I'm not sitting anymore. So here she is with a couple babies and her old man sitting there in his easy chair. There's a lot of them where the woman is har looks harried and the man is sitting there doing nothing. Imagine that. Uh -huh. And this one is, I'm guessing, an anniversary card from 1910. Dear... Pa and Ma, here is another card for you. And I can't read the rest. From Cambridge, Illinois, Ills, Rural Route 2. 
And then we have this one here, which Vinny will appreciate. There's a Navajo weaving a blanket, and it, the guy's saying to the his friend, isn't it interesting to see the figure gradually emerge? And the other guy says, yeah, because the woman accidentally got hold of her skirt and is weaving that into the thing. Wow, that wouldn't even fly today. No. But they had a lot of them like this. A lot of them. This one's pretty funny. Scat, you tomcat. Last time you told me you were only you only wanted to wrestle. And there's a a female cat with four or five little kittens. And then there's this one here where two dogs are watching a guy plant a tree and they go, I'm looking forward to a good time here. Hmm. That would be Bandit from 1946, 1946. And then there's one from Oakland County, Michigan. That certainly does look Michigan-y, I'll tell you. Beautiful. And here's one from the Grand Canyon. So all 10 postcards are $10, number seven. $10, number seven. Yeah, the cat one is hilarious. There are, I mean, there are some that are really, really saucy. Apparently it was not risque to send whatever you wanted in those days. You just sent it. Okay, and I know I have hanky lovers. I have some hankies here. Five of them, I believe. I have this yellow one, which has this beautiful crocheted work on it. And then somebody actually crocheted beads on it. How they did that, I don't know. But they did. Very pretty. Very, very fancy. And then there's this very pretty white with, uh, oops, here, with the wide lace on the bottom. Most of these were ironed just as flat as they could be. And then there's this really pretty one with a blue embroidery. And then there's one that's has some purple lace, and then the flowers. Hi, Judy, how are you? Haven't seen you for a while. And Katie, hello, hello. And then the last one is also, has lace around the edges and then these beautiful flowers. So for the five hankies, it is $10, number eight. $10, number eight for the five hankies. It's number eight, right? Yes, number eight. Number eight, five hankies. You don't sell that? I thought she was keeping that. Nope. All right, my next item is an offer up. And it is this beautiful fairy lamp. I have it lit. It's kind of hard to see it, I guess. 
but it's beautiful when it's dark. And it looks like this. And I believe it's signed in here, if you can see it. It says signed inside. And it says 1999. This is all hand painted on the um, outside. And it's like a creamy tan color, I guess I would say. Those things on the side almost look like cameos. I'll put down Maria for the hankies. So this lamp is an offer up, and I am starting it at $15. If you are interested, please put at least $15 in the chat. Josie's Butterfly Kisses at 15. Thank you, Josie. Okay, so far we got you, Josie. Okay, I have Josie at 15. Is anyone else interested? Uh, Book Bewitched at 20. Okay, Book Bewitched is at 20. Hi, Book Bewitched. That's BBW. That is. I didn't. She snuck in on me. I didn't say hi to her. Oh, I well, I got her. Josie's at 21. 21. Okay. This is really, really pretty, guys. Book Bewitched at 25. Hey, you guys are going to love it. It's so... And Josie's at 30. Okay, Josie. Hi, Thrift You. Hi, Sarah. How are you, sweetie? What's going on, Thrift You? She's calling you soups. <laughs> soups. I should call them soups. Okay, we got Josie's butterfly. Yeah, it is a very pretty one. At 30. Very pretty. Can you take the top off? You want me to take my top off? Um, I think it was Westmoreland. Hmm, that candle smells good. Whatever kind it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Westmoreland. I know it. Like when I have it down here and I can see it, it looks so pretty in the dark. I mean, it's like a, this gorgeous color. It's almost got a hint of orange to it. Well, it looks like, just like a tannish color, not orange. Yeah, well, that's the eye of the beholder. Okay, is anyone else? Is there anyone else that is going to bid? We have it at 30. Josie's Butterfly Kisses. Yeah, it does. It does look kind of Vaseline-y. No, not yet. Come on, guys. It's a pretty one. Yes, it is. And it's a vintage one, too. It's not, you know, they didn't just crank it out yesterday. Hi, 
Hi, Janet Green. Yeah, it, to me it looks like a like a pinkish cream color, I guess you'd call it. Um, well, if there are no more bids, um, I guess we will, I will have Ron call it. Okay. Josie's Butterfly Kiss is at 30. Going once. Going twice. 50, 50 bucks. Okay. We got it at $50 from Thrift You. Thank you, dear. You are the woman. I know, it's such a pretty one. I mean, it looks old-fashioned, and it's all hand-painted, and it's just a pretty little thing. It's a pretty little thing. You know, Sarah, I really need to come out and shop with you, girl. I'll tell you what, I just drool and drool over everything you find. I need to find me some more... Uh, you do that anyway. Black Americana. Well, I'm I'm gonna go out that way. You're a jewelry girl. Okay. Uh, Josie said she's out. Out to my friend Sarah. Cricket Harrington. Hi, Cricket. So if there are no more, uh, no more bids. No more bids. Then we'll start the count again. Okay, drip you. At, yes, she does. Drip you at uh, fifty dollars. Going once, twice. Sold to thrift you at 50. Thank you, Sarah. And I'm going to blow the candle out. And this is not the one that comes in here. It's actually a smaller one. But you could probably put a bigger one in there. I would go with the small one. Thank you so much, Sarah. Okay. Where was I? Okay, I got that one. So, let's see. I have this. I know somebody one time said they were interested in this, and I ran across it today. It is the it was the 30th anniversary of the Pillsbury Doughboy. It's a collector's glass. And... Did I even put a number on this one? The 17. Okay, that's what I thought. It's uh, it's plastic, so you don't have to worry about it breaking. But, excuse me, 30 years ago was a long time ago. It's way it's more than 30 years now. I don't know what year this was from, but... That'd be uh, 91. What makes you say that? 30 years ago. No, it was 30 years. Oh, 30 years. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. It says 1995, so... Oh, what is it? So it's a lot more than 30. No. One year. 30 years. Anyway, this is $6, number 17, and I, it is in the box. $6, number 17. So that was uh, 1965, huh? When Pillsbury but it was, Dough, uh, but it was when the Doughboy came, came out. Yep. Yeah. Nineteen sixty-five. Wow. Uh -huh. I was I was just a kid then. I was a kid, but oh, I was alive. Nineteen sixty-five. Yes. You were driving. No, not me. All right. I, I saw you. You love the Doughboy. I do too. My daughter had a. Uh, toy when she, my oldest daughter, Sarah, who's going to be 47, it was like a plastic toy you know, that you, uh, would, you know, push the stomach. And uh, I'd always go, ha, ha, when I do it. But like 1970, I heard that uh, the Doughboy actually ended up in a hospital. Hi, Angela Marksberry. How are you, honey? Hey, Angela. Uh, he had a, a ruptured spleen from being poked in the belly. <coughs> really? You heard that? What I heard? 
<clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. All right, I haven't hey, said. Hey, Diane. Oh, hi, Diane. Wow, everybody's coming, coming and going late. I have this little set of uh, Holland shoes. They say Holland on them, and there's a little chip on the bottom of this one here. But they are Judy Scallet. For what? No, I'm just saying Judy Scallet. Oh, well, quit doing that. Uh, these are five dollars, number twenty-five. Five dollars, number twenty-five. Okay. Number 25. Oh, thank you, D. Oh, my chair is getting away from me. I have a three of these glasses. They are flashed on top and they are clear on bottom. Well, they're flashed a bit on the bottom too. Um, they are called the King's Crown. And they are, this one has a little bit of a chip here. I have three of them for $15. This one does have a little tiny chip at the bottom. Their flashing is real good. I mean, there's... Let me reach over here and get them off. This one is good. There's really, like, no scratches to speak of. Very faintly. But other than that, I mean, they're perfect. And if you're a fan of flash glass, like some of us are, this is a great thing to add to your collection. Um, or you can use them. You could use them if you would like to. They're just very gorgeous. So they are. I don't have the number on this one either, Ron. Okay. There is a number. Uh, King's Crown glasses? Yes. 16. Uh, these three glasses for $15 are number 16. Look at the light shining through them. Uh, no, I did not. I am planning on a deer. No, I did not see her message. Did you see her message, Ron? Uh, no. I, I missed it. You got to pay attention. You're supposed to be my peer attention. Um, no, what did she say? Yeah, it is a wonderful pattern. I love it. Oh, okay, I sure will. That is a lovely birthday gift. What a sweet person you are. Um, Somebody's going to have to send me, either you or Book Bewitch is going to have to send me her address because I don't have it. Well, happy birthday or whatever gift for you. Let's see. What is this? Why is there always a knock at the door when I'm having a sale? I know it's not pizza. Who was it? 
We got 20 kids out there wanting to cut the grass. So. Oh. Just a gift. Well, that is very sweet of you. Very sweet. Okay, what do we got? Um, the fairy lamp is going to book Bewitched. I have to get her address from somebody. Maybe she will send it to me. So I can send this to her. And it's to be paid for by uh, Sarah. Such a nice person you are. Um, what did you say the number of these King's Crown were? Okay, hang on a okay. second. No, uh, 16. Oh, okay. These were number 16. I didn't know if I ever said any. Said the number. They're beautiful. Yeah, they are gorgeous. Beautiful red and with the contrast of the clear bottom. Yeah, when Rocky gave them to me, he goes, I'm just sad that I didn't have four of them. And I said, well, he said, I looked and looked and looked. I could not find the fourth one. I said, well, you know, what are you going to do? Okay, so... And thrift you, that was beautiful. You're a wonderful person. She is, she is a very sweet person. She is. She's always been sweet to me. All right. I just... Very cool. Here's another one I didn't put the number on. I think this is number one, actually. Yeah, that's my number one. All right. This was another item that somebody said they were interested in, so I put it in the sale. It is a clear, and I know this has a pattern name because my brother right away said it and I forgot it, but it has, it's got a ruffled edge, and then it's, you know, got this star thing or whatever on the back, and uh, mm -hmm. it is a section dish, you know, for like, pickles and such black olives great time to have these because we're going to be in, you know invited to lots of picnics and stuff like that my brother does have excellent taste i have to say he finds the most amazing and we did a yard so i've got two more boxes sitting at his house of stuff that i have to go get because he just and i haven't even done um Holes on everything I brought from him yet. So, it's craziness. Anyway, as I babble on, happy birthday, Diane. This is, yes, that's what I'm thinking. This is $4 number one. $4 number one. Wow, what a deal. You could, you could buy that blind all day. Yeah, I wish I could remember what the pattern was. Oh, you went to get dinner. And pet bun bun. And pet bun bun. Why? Okay. Why would you pet our dog? I don't know. So nobody needs a nice platter for their uh, upcoming 4th of July picnic? One, two, three, four. Four sections. Well, bun bun is, we call our dog bun bun when sometimes while well, Ron does he's a bun bun lover okay what else do I have here <laughs> who, the, who the hell is bun bun huh so you've been marking stuff off I only have a couple more things and then I'll yes ma'am show us some stuff again uh, you have actually uh I should only have like two items left. Well, you have... No, uh, I have more than two. I have more than two. You have the women's circle. Yeah. All right, the next item I have, I don't know if there's any of my swan people out there. This is just a little frosted swan. Wouldn't that just frost you? And uh, there's nothing wrong with it except for it doesn't have anything in it. It needs to have a little plant or something. And it is four dollars number fourteen for the little swan. Uh frosted swan is four dollars number nineteen. Oh, I can't read. Number nineteen, I'm sorry. Four dollars number nineteen, frosted swan. Yeah, I can't I, I had a crease in my number. Yeah. 
I don't have any creases in my eyes. Yeah, so number 19. Okay. I've got that. Let's see, I've got a few things here. I have a quilt pattern. I know there's some quilters out there. I thought there were. And I got this really cool quilt pattern of a uh, Christmas quilt. And I w almost flipped out when I saw how much quilt patterns were. But this one is I'm selling is six dollars number twenty nine. Twenty four. What was number twenty four? Twenty four was uh gay nineties girl Thomas Lynch. Alright, hold on here. Number nineteen. All right, Maria wants number 29. What's number 19? Cheryl Hoskins. Number 19 is Frosted Swan. Okay. So Cheryl, uh, here, let me find these people again. Um, Maria wants the quilt book. I know I wish I could too. And Cheryl Hoskins wants the swan. swan. Okay, and... Okay, what's going on with the uh, uh, quilts? That was from Maria. And what number do I know? Number 29. Okay, 29. Maria? Yes. Yeah, I wish I could quilt. I have my daughter's mother-in-law has a, even has a quilt frame and keeps saying, we need to get together and just have a girls' night and just quilt. And I'm, Becky and I would love to do it. Okay. Uh... Oh my God, would that be fun, Sarah? Oh, that would be so much fun. Okay, what is that? All right, I have this little, I think this is so cute because I remember this stuff when I was in probably high school. Somebody bought it at the Kentucky State Park for a dollar and a quarter. It is this uh, vintage stationery packet. It says, love, sweet love, and it has... I think all the stationery is still in here. It appears to be. But it's all these cute little, you know, love ow, ow, ow. thingies here. Damn it. Just want to make sure that he didn't sneak out of here. Cancel number 24. What was number 24? 24? It's, uh, that's still gay 90s. Okay, I got you, I got you. Anyway, uh, this is $3. Yeah, I, man, I'm, I must have went through 800 million packs of this kind of stationery back in the day. It's stationery? It is uh, number 27. It's $3, number 27, for the vintage stationery from probably the... Yeah, I know, isn't that the truth? I Well, I used to write letters to my boyfriend who was in the Navy at the time on and anything cutesy I could find I was writing letters on it Number 20. 27 you can write a letter to me when I go to camp this year thank you Sarah I got that now, what did I do with that magazine? Oh, here it is. I have this magazine, and it's not really full of pictures. It is, it's kind of a sad thing in a way when I look at it. It is Women's Circle, the Nationwide Friendly Homemakers Club. From June of 1966, it sold for 25 cents. This was, this was like when you were a housewife and you didn't work and you were at home. And these were the kind of magazines you would read sometimes. It has all kinds of pen pal stuff in it and things you can order uh, of patterns. And there are things in here. Um, 
patterns how to make stuff. There's one that was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, what do you call it? Mm. Here's one how to make a decoration for Fourth of July. But there was one that was uh, how to make a. Here's another one. How to make an oaken bucket pencil holder out of popsicle sticks and a juice can. And there's one how to make a, some kind of a handy carry-all. I'm trying to find the one that was how to make a... It was this really pretty... Um, here it is. Apron made out of dishcloths. Right there. There's a picture of a lady in her in her hat. But it's like newspaper material. It's not like a regular magazine. And I have three dollars on this. You can have it for three dollars number ten. Three dollars number ten. Well, that's a piece of history. Yeah, this is definitely uh I love the picture of the lady looking at all the roses with her get up there. And then just all these kind of things on the back are pretty, pretty hilarious. And if they'd made things, they would, you know, take pictures and send it in and all that kind of jazz. It's uh, Mr. Peabody in a Wayback Machine. Yeah. Isn't that the truth? Oh, Sarah, did you want this? Huh. Oh, no, she put a bead up her nose. Oh, my gosh. My, my niece, when she was little, her granny was watching her, and she had a cold, and... Granny told her to, she gave her a baby aspirin or whatever we gave in those days. Okay. Uh, Sarah? Yes. And so Granny gave her the aspirin and said, you know, this is for your nose. So my niece took it and put it up her nose and they had to take her to the emergency room. Okay. Um, I have, I believe, one more item. And then I can go back over some things if you like, because there's a lot of people that came, you know. Late. Late. Um, I have this false graph, um, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. Maybe a small mixing bowl. And it is... Ten dollars. It is false graph. Ten dollars, number eighteen. Ten dollars, number eighteen. You ate dry dog food. Ooh. My uh, daughter's boyfriend back in high school. Yes, yeah, the T Rose pattern. It's such a pretty pattern too. I love it. He uh, would eat dog or, or dog biscuits. Which I had found rather disturbing. She did not end up marrying him, so. Oh my God, she is adorable. She is adorable, that is for sure. Okay, so we're going to move on here. So I, I have covered everything correct. No. What what not? Uh, a grandchild silver. Oh, oh, that's my last thing. Oh. Forgot about this. Uh, he has, yes, and I need to get with that this weekend. Um, I have this little tiny, it looks like a little lunchbox almost, and it is, says, the love between a grandmother and grandchild is a priceless treasure. And you open it up, and there's a place for a picture inside. Right here. Oh, that's gross. Maria, Maria said she, at six years old, 
create a whole tube of toothpaste. Ooh. Yeah, that don't even... Well, at least it was minty or something. That's gross. I've heard of worse things. Uh, this is from Hallmark and from 2004. It is $5, number 26. Wow. I thought this would be really neat as a graduation gift. You could put there maybe even a picture of you and your grandchild in that or their graduation picture. and you could Or a graduation ring. Or, right, and whatever, you know, you could put money or a ring or whatever in there. I think that'd be a great little graduation gift. So, I wonder why there's a chain on the bottom, too. I don't know. Oh. Mm. That's probably for something else. Anyway... I know a lot of people, my daughter used to eat sand all the time. So I have this. It is $5, number 26. Too bad I don't have anybody graduating right now. Hi, Elizabeth. All right. Okay, ready? All right, I'm going to start showing some things. Things that did not sell since a lot of people came in late. You ready? Yes. Uh, since uh, you... Okay, let's do the uh, the uh, Cincy warmer. All right. I did show the Cincy warmer. And I was asking $25 for this. It does work. I've tested it. It works. Got the bulb in it. Even has some really good smelling stuff in there that I left in. It is $25, number two. $25, number two. Jerry. Also. Hi, Jerry. How are you? That's all right. I'm just showing... I'm showing the stuff that didn't sell. Right now, this is the Scentsy Warmer for $25. That does work. There's nothing wrong with it. It's gorgeous. I think it's just, I mean, I think it's beautiful. It looks almost like, um, uh, I can't think of what it is. Almost looks like pottery. Well, it is pottery. It looks like, um, yeah, I, I love the color. Katie's throwing my name in there. Good good girl. Yes, it would. All right. Hi, Butterfly Nurse. All right. Nobody wanting the uh, Scentsy Warmer, correct? Nope. All righty. All right. Uh, oh, the Fitz and Floyd Kramer. Why am I trying to do that? Hmm? Um, I, I have the Fitz and Floyd Kramer. It's grapes. And there's was one little tiny flea bite somewhere. I don't even know where it was now. Maybe there wasn't. Maybe that was something else. I had a flea bite. And this is Eight dollars, number three. Eight dollars, number three. That's cool. A little bit of air plants in there. Should I use a cream? You know how I am. I like the air plants I do. Do you? Yeah. Well, I always kill my air plants, so. All right. Let's see. So I bought the hanky. Okay, dresser tray. Yeah, I was surprised me about this. It's beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. I have the beautiful um, dresser tray that was made in Switzerland. Um, there's no cracks or chips or anything. There's, no hits, no runs, no errors. There's just, you know, there is some gold loss. 
No, but very little. Very little. Actually, the thing is beautiful. And uh, it's number four for six dollars. Number four, six dollars. Yeah, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay. Just tell us, I, I don't want it, huh? Oh, Elizabeth and Chicago lady. Elizabeth says she wants it. Okay, Lucid? Yeah, Lucid Curios. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Sorry, Jeannie. I think the internet's dragging. Mine was dragging bad the other day, real bad. Did anybody buy the uh, this? Uh, that is uh, fifteen. Hmm. Number fifteen. Yeah. That's uh, no, uh, English England brass pitcher. Okay, I have this very beautiful English brass pitcher. Um. It's got a lighthouse. It's got sailing ships. It's gorgeous. It was made in England. And it's probably from the 50s or 60s. That's when it, that kind of stuff was really in. And, uh. Nine dollars. I know. I was looking at something. Yeah, it's very, very pretty. Very, very classy design. It is uh, nine dollars, number 15. Okay, Josie. Um, Josie wants this for for Cincy? Yeah, for twenty-five dollars. Josie's butterfly kisses. Okay, so nobody wants this. I, I had I'd lost my train of thought there okay yes that is a good deal Marianne or, but I, I knew it was a good deal but they can't sell it as a new price Josie says I'll send you my info okay Josie yeah because I don't have yours and I know you I do know you're from Canada I will do my best to get you the cheapest shipping um I've got a couple people right now I'm sitting on their stuff trying to figure out how I can get it cheaper so please uh don't you know it's kind of a heavy item so please don't get freaked out if it's a little pricey I, i'm gonna do my best for you okay okay um mission driver uh s p oh uh, i've got these little mason jar salt and pepper shakers i was asking 10. that was kind of the going price but um, if anyone's interested, they're number six, and um, you could have them for $7. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I thought that Limoges plate was gorgeous. I have to admit, I thought it was beautiful. Pirate ship, simple export rate. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. I did not know that. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, where was I? Seven dollars for these. Seven dollars. Uh, number six. On number six for the mason jar. Salt okay, and thank you. Is that cool or what? Well, that's good because I'll tell you what. It's sickening the prices. I've got two people that have been paid because I think they were upset because of the price. No, one of them I never even sent them their thing yet because it was so high. Okay, and I will remember. I have to call them. Okay, so let me move on. Okay, the next one is uh, postcards. Oh. If I can find them. We got us a mess. A true mess here. Okay, I have some vintage postcards. I know, it's terrible that... Now, 
when I buy stuff from Canada, it's like normal. I don't know what is wrong with our country other than, well, I know a lot of things. But I will definitely do my very best. Thank you so much for telling me that, Elizabeth. Okay, my postcards are 10 for 10. 10 of them for $10. Number seven, there's this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. I don't think so. Okay. My favorite is this cat. I love this one. She must have clawed him good too when he thought he was when he was wrestling with her. And then this one here. A lot of saucy ones, a lot of risque ones. I'm amazed. And this one's beautiful. From 1910, I believe. Yep, 1910. This one here. And that one there. Okay, I appreciate that. Okay, uh, Dee, are you still here, or or Katie? Could one of you put in my email? Yeah, this one here and uh, this one here. So that's ten postcards for ten dollars, and it's number seven. Thank you, and thank you. My wrenches are working. Okay. Belinda Carroll. Yep. There you are, Belinda. There's some really cute ones in here, too. Okay. Yeah, they're turn of the century, Belinda. Well, not all of them. There's some like 1946. Oh, okay. That's all right, honey. I'm, that's fine. I wondered, I hadn't seen you, and I had a few things like ephemera type things in here thinking that you might be here um okay hang on oh the font oh yes i have my sweet little holy water font that you hang on the wall it's very sweet and it is five dollars number 11. I love this thing. That's one of the things I miss about being Catholic. Is <laughs> I know it's weird, but crossing myself with the holy water when I walked in. Carrie Ann, it is yours. Are you Catholic, Carrie Ann? How much is it? Wait, let me see. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for a four pounder. Oh, geez. Well, I'm gonna do some checking. I'm gonna do my very best. And when I send it, I'll send it in as small of a box as I can, with the lightest of wrapping, so it's you know not bogged down by newspaper and heavier stuff. Divided dish. Carrie Ann bought them. Ah, Catholic. Oh, yep. Well, then you remember the sweet little. And this one's so sweet. It's just a sweetheart. Okay. And then I've got this divided dish. Again, it's for $4. And I still don't. Oh, and it's number one. And, uh... It'd be great for all of you. Yes, one, two, three, four. Two long ones and two short ones on uh, the same side. All kind of goodies that you can put in here for a... Uh, you can put olives, 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 and olives in there. A picnic or... 
They're always telling you to bring stuff, bring us, bring stuff. Oh my gosh. Well, Josie, you're hearing it from a bunch of people that it is pretty expensive. So when you, when you, um, you know, if you, that's what I'm saying, olives. I'd fill the whole thing with olives if it was me. I love olives. Um, you know, I I do love uh, cashews, but uh, even I love olives. I love Kalamata olives. I love green olives. I love black olives. Black no. olives are much. Yeah, favorite. I knew they didn't have medium ale because I tried to send a magazine to somebody, and it was twenty eight dollars. And the other stuff was like a little tiny box, and it's like thirty six dollars. Thank so, you, Benny. I, absolutely, hundred percent on that. Yes, I think I could too. I'm I love my I love my olives. Okay, so nobody wants that. What else? Okay, hang on. There's not too many more things. Oh yeah, there's a there's a thousand of them. Uh the Star Bowls. Um, I have the little mid century modern uh star pattern bowls. Okay, Josie, that's fine, honey. I understand. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yes, D. I I wanted you to be aware of that before you, you know, bought it because um, it, it's just, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's. You that's... know, it's it, it's not. It, we all are. We all of us face that issue. We us resellers, when somebody buys from Canada, that we're going to be. Either having to disappoint them or upset them, and you know you don't want to do that because it's just bad. I know, I know that. So she says, "I'm sorry, Jack. I can't afford." And I'm, I'm so sorry, honey. I feel bad for you. I, I do. I don't know. Do they, do they even have UPS? And you know what? I, I'll tell you what, Josie. Here's what I'll do. I'll do some checking around, see if I can find anything cheaper. And if I can, I will go ahead and send me your 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 email address and stuff, and see if I if I can, I will let you know. If I can, and if I can't, then I'll just send you a thing saying I'm sorry I, I could find nothing cheaper. Okay, guys, here is these adorable little MCM Starbucks. Yeah, um, in Century Modern Star Bowls. Hi, Super Bitches. Super Bitches. Sugar Bitches. I know. I That's what... Oh, Josie, that's what I'll do. <laughs> I'll take a plane and I'll fly it to you. Just make sure you got something to eat when I get there. <laughs> okay, so the bowls are $6. Number 13. For these awesome little... Mid-century modern bowls. Finger bowls. No, I say pudding. Oh, no, they're going to be way deeper than that. Pudding bowls. Mm. Pudding should be in at least a half-gallon jugs. Single serving. Okay. Okay, ready. We got the beautiful, the antique, the, the wonderful Pelican cooler. Okay, we'll try it one more time. You guys, are, those that weren't here, you're not going to believe this thing. This thing is Was anybody, ancient. would anybody be interested in this awesome, cool, oh, I'm sure she probably did. Um, the Pelican Cooler, it is an offer up starting at $15. So I'm starting it now at $15. It has a the cork stopper. A cork stopper. The top unscrews so you can put your your liquid liquids. It's a glass liner and you can put your liquids and ice and stuff in it. And it's really got minimal damage. Just outside. Uh yeah, we got thrifty up here. Again, this is another one of Rocky's finds. I know when he showed it to me, I'm like, actually, it was hit sitting at a yard sale, and I picked up. I said, oh, 
Heck no, you ain't selling that in the yard sale. No way. Okay, we got Sarah at $15. We got it, yep. Even the bottom is it's in nice, you know, pretty nice shape. I to me it's in excellent shape for you figure the age of it and you know people lugging it around. Even the cork is in good shape. I keep screwing this on crooked though. Because I can't do anything without being crooked. No, maybe not. Maybe that's how it goes. It is. It's good. Yeah, I used to have one a long time ago. I know. Isn't it cool? I just love the colors of it and everything, too. Because you don't see, you know, it's always red or green. I thought this was really neat. Okay. What do you think? If Sarah is the only one that's... She's the only one bidding. Bidding. Um, Lucid lost her internet. Then I will um, have Ron comment, count it down. All right. Drift you. At $15. Going once. Going twice. Sold. To thrift you for $15. It is so cool, Sarah. It was a good deal, too, because I know they were selling for at least 35 so you got yourself yeah, a deal. You got yourself a deal, and it's cool. Okay, Josie, thank you so much. Thank you. You got yourself a new cooler. I shall mix up a batch of margaritas in there, and you can drink them. You'll just have to add ice. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sarah, it is, it is unbelievable cool. The age on this thing, the the top it is neat simple export rate put it in a bag keep it under four pounds okay okay <coughs> thank you benny you put your uh, your address in there oh thank you thank you everybody that ain't benny that's katie no 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 where, 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 Vintage where? and vinyl is Katie. Oh, okay. She'd been calling him her Vinny. No, I I thought that was. No. I just looked up. I know. No, that's Katie. Daddy, I know that's Katie. Okay. Uh. Um. Pelican cooler. Hang on. Uh. Did thank you, you so much, Sarah, and I know you're gonna enjoy it because it's so cool. Did you do the English breast picture? I thought you just did. I just did it again. Yes. Okay. Uh. The uh, glasses. Okay, one more time. I'm going to sh Oh, I went off for a minute. Okay. King's Crown Glasses. King's Crown Glasses. Um, and uh, they were $15 for three of them. There's only one of them that has like a little chip at the bottom. Bad. The other two are fine. So if you are interested in these... They're number uh, number sixteen. Number sixteen. They're flashed on the top. And for three of the King's Crown's glasses is fifteen dollars. Number sixteen. Okay. Okay, we got Doughboy. I'm getting tired, honey. I'll be honest. You're getting tired? I have the little Doughboy 30 anniversary glass, which is now more like 50 years. It's in the box. It is $6, number 17. Yeah, I believe uh, when the Dog Boy uh, came out, it was 1965. So, and that was a uh, that was 30 years after that. So that came out. Yeah, there was Sue. Uh, somebody bought it though. Did you want to see it? Talking about this thing right here. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, I don't remember. 
somebody bought it. I can't remember who, but somebody did. Okay, what? Uh, you got number? Number 20. Number 20, uh, Carrie Ann. Yeah, Carrie Ann already bought it, honey. If I see another one ever, I will pick it up for you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Did anybody, was anybody interested in the gay 90s Avon bottle? No, that's sold. Oh, never mind. It's sold. That was Thomas Lynch. Oh, that's right. Never mind. No, I got the ones that. Slap my hand. Yep. Well, I think we pretty much covered it. Um, there's just an odds and ends here and there. You have the false graph bowl if you want to sell that? I just showed it at okay. the very end. So and the green group. No, once you activate it, it automatically does it for any international address. Okay. That's so good to know. See, now, I used to sell, when I sold many years ago, eBay, and I sold internationally. It wasn't that expensive, but it'd probably be crazy. Now, um, I also, the last thing I'm going to show you again is this really pretty green uh, dish. You could put olives in this one as well. Look at this. Wow, you could really suck down some olives and it's only four dollars number 21 four dollars number 21 so make sure i put it in a bag i put a lot of stuff in bags because it's cheaper if i put it in a bag well if nobody is interested in this little lovely that's dish. four dollars uh number 21 and I'll put olives in it. Okay, guys. This has been a very fun. You put it in a box first. Or you wrap it in cardboard and then um, put D down for 21. Um, no, you don't just put it in the bag. You have to... Uh, yeah, put it in a box and then put it in a bag and it only counts as the bag. I don't know why, but that's why. I do that a lot because it's cheaper than if you ship it in just the box. I, I'm not sure why, it just is. I got you, Dean. Oh, really? No, I, I haven't bought much, but what a couple things I did, I didn't pay that much. I don't think I bought anything like real big. No, if it's a lot, you can't know. But that's why um, I like people to know that I did buy from a seller in Canada. Oh, I don't know, she did, I did. Yeah, yeah there are a few little rules here and there. But the thing of it is, if you, um, if you, if you stick to the rules, it, it works. It does work. Oh, come on, Jimmy. When I do pirate ship, I do lots of stuff. Um, because if it's a smaller box, even if you don't put it in a bag, uh, then you have to go through the post office. So you have to put it in a bag in order to go through um, pirate ship. Do me a favor. No, 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 no. No, I would I would pack it where it wouldn't break. Because if, if I packed it stupidly, then there would be no, you know, point in even sending it to you. I don't want... My goal is never to send anything and it to break. I always make sure... But there's ways to get around stuff. I will do my best. I will. Oh, no. Tom just paid. Ooh. I, I'd be honest. A lot of times I pay, and then later on I'm thinking, wow. Right. You just pack it, like, in a box, and then you stick it in a bag. I have, like, bags that are about this big that I bought, like, envelope, you know. And then I have some smaller ones. That you just order, I order them from Amazon. But 
this has been a very educational sale. I'm glad that we talked about all this because this has been an issue for a while now. And I don't want anybody to feel left out or feel slighted because they can't order anything. Well, thank you. I, I do try really hard, um, you know, to pack it where it's not going to get broken. Um, I'm more apt to break it before you ever get it than, be, you know, <laughs> than in the wrapping process. I, I break things while I'm showing them, that kind of stuff. Was you going to show the... Uh the grandchild silver no no okay i just showed it that was like one of the last things i showed uh -huh. but that's okay all right so i hope you guys are going to have a great weekend it is getting uh to my witching hour i believe it or not i have to go and get groceries now i have to beat myself to death and go to walmart so we can actually have some food we have no milk we have no bread we have no fruit, we have no lettuce, we have no nothing. So I must go to the store. So you all have a great weekend. It's going to be hot here. I'm Now, because I am going to the pool party um, tomorrow, uh, I probably won't get started on wrapping stuff, packaging stuff, till maybe Sunday. So um, uh, if there's yeah next week uh i'll have more oh you're kidding uh belinda i will make sure next week i have more uh things you know for um okay i will but for uh more ephemera i got more and more oh yes oh my gosh thank you Tuesday, we have a sale. Me and D and um, Tacky is me, Daniel. And it is at 6 o'clock Eastern. And it will be on my channel this time. So make sure you come to that one. Uh, I'll make sure I have some ephemera there if you're going to be there, Belinda. Bye, Sarah. I love you, too. Thank you so much for all your, your uh, stuff. You did tonight. You were you were a great uh, thing. So yes, that is the other thing. Well, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, so see if I didn't have D to tell me what to say, I would not say it. So I have. So we will be combining. I'll be combining shipping from tonight and then Tuesday. So actually, I won't be. You won't be getting to your invoice to like Wednesday or Thursday. Probably Thursday. Now. In the meantime, D has her sale tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Do not miss it. It's a great one. And I know there's sales going on later tonight. Um, so make sure that you see them if you need to. And Vinny, thank you for coming and hanging the whole time. I will try to make sure I get some more saucy stuff for you. Well, I'll tell you, when something breaks, it, it hurts. Yeah, it does hurt. They're disappointed, and it makes you feel real bad, too. It really does. So I do try my best to pack things so nothing gets broke. Good night, you guys. We love you so much. We really do. And uh, without you guys, we'd have a very boring Friday night, let me tell you. So you guys take care. Have a wonderful weekend. I will see you Tuesday. Bye.